The death has occurred of Fritz Weber, a German actor who was known for his portrayal of the German Jew Fritz Wendel in Bob Fosse's musical masterwork Cabaret, which won an Academy Award. Fritz Weber also starred in the television shows Derek and For Heaven's Sake, both in his home country. He was 82 years old. According to the announcement made by his family, Weber passed away on Monday at a hospice in Munich following a protracted illness that followed the life-threatening sepsis he experienced the previous year. Wepper, who had been acting since boyhood, is credited with landing the most significant international role of his career in the film Cabaret, 1972, in which he also played alongside Leslie Minnelli, Michael York, Helmut Green, and Joel Grey. In the guise of Wendell, he pretended to be a member of the Protestant faith and fell in love with Natalia Landauer, a wealthy Jewish heiress. Following the popularity of the film, which was nominated for eight Academy Awards in 1973, Wepper declined offers from Hollywood and instead accepted a supporting role as Harry Klein on the new German crime series Derek. He played alongside Horst Tappert's titular murder investigator, a law enforcement officer who never lost his calm or pulled out a gun. Klein had been portrayed by Wepper in an earlier German crime series called Der Kommissar, which aired on ZDF for a total of eight seasons and was also carried on public television. This phenomenally successful show, Derek, aired for a total of 260 episodes across 25 seasons and was distributed to 102 countries around the world. The figure of Harry Wepper had become a cultural touchstone by the middle of the 1990s. The show aired from 1974 to 1998, and his catchphrase, Harry, hit the car, evoked feelings of nostalgia among members of the German Generation X. Wepper's first notable role was in Bernhard Wicke's anti-war classic, the Bridge, 1959, which he played while he was only 18 years old. The role that he performed was that of Albert Mutz, one of a small group of young lads who were given the duty of defending a bridge during the final days of World War II. This assignment was both futile and suicidal. The movie was nominated for an Academy Award in the category of Best Foreign Language Picture, and it ended up winning the Golden Globe in that area. Additionally, the highest award at the Munich Picture Festival is called The Bridge, and it is named after both Wiki and the film. In addition, the native of Munich was awarded the German Film Award for Best Actor for his performance in Rudolf Jugert's Kenwood, Ryder, 1964, which was a film about Nazi-resistant soldiers. In the long-running comedy series For Heaven's Sake, Wepper played the role of Wolfgang Weller, the mayor of a small town who was frequently outwitted by the local nuns. These nuns thwarted his attempts to take over their cloister in order to turn it into a business for his party members. Over 260 episodes of the show have been shown since it first aired in 2002, and the number continues to grow. He had notable appearances in the year 2001, including a telephone rendition of Murder on the Orient Express that was broadcast on CBS and starring Alfred Molina and Murrah the Baxter. Additionally, he appeared in the critically acclaimed German miniseries Vera Braun, which he starred in opposite Corinna Harfouch, Downfall, Weber played the role of a police psychiatrist who, along with his daughter Alexandra, investigates murders committed by members of the 1% in the series High Society Murder, which aired from 2007 to 2017. Sophie Weber, who is his real-life daughter from his first marriage to Angela Weber, who passed away several years ago, performed the role of her. Weber's younger brother, Elmar Weber, who played Cherry Blossoms, was also a well-known German actor who worked in both film and television. In the television series Two Brothers, which aired in the 1990s, the two actors played the roles of fictional brothers who fought crime. On October 31, 2023, he passed away. Additionally, his wife, Suzanne Kellerman, and their daughter, Philippa, are among the survivors she leaves behind.